and Frodium Hill. We'll go to the top of the Frodium Hill where there is easy access. There's parking very, very close to a um, footpath that leads up to the War Memorial. So we're going to go and have a little walk up there and the, the clouds are totally greyed out. So it's all washed out. So there'll be no uh, landscape shots across the Mersey Estuary. Uh, if there are, they'll be black and white. So uh, we'll go and have a look at that and uh, we'll take it from there right now. Finish me coffee and then uh, fire up the motor and have a little drive over there. I'll see you in a little while. Cheers. Bye. Right, we're at the uh, Frodium Memorial, the War Memorial, 1939 to 1945. So we're going to have a wander along the footpath that leads to the memorial. And from there, see what the photography opportunities are. See if we can capture any interesting compositions while we're up there. So the site uh, is on Overton Hill, is what they call Frodium Hill. It's officially known as Overton Hill. Um, so that's where we're going to wander. Some really interesting trees caught my eye straight away. Uh, the uh, War Memorial in all its splendour. So we're right at a really high vantage point. Overlooking, overlooking the Mersey Estuary, which is totally greyed out, of course. totally grayed out today. You've got the turbines out in the marshland there and then you've got all the industry. That's on the left is the Hellsby Hill where I've spent much much time and um, so there's a shot over there to Hellsby Hill. Well maybe not today with it being so grayscale. All in all quite a vantage point. Not necessarily a landscape shot, more of a forestry shot with these trees. Let's find something that's interesting. I'm going tree blind. So many trees. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for a couple of trees that frame a picture or lead or lean into another picture and you find those of course by slowing down just trying to be a little bit more observant to what your eyes are picking up because your eyes will filter out stuff whereas a camera just shows you what's there so it's sometimes worth just looking through the scene through your your iPhone or your smartphone. I kind of like the way the light shines on the right hand side of that tree and then the tree leans over to the next tree with an opening in the gap. And then you've got that brown and white tree, which unfortunately is just being obscured by that sapling, uh, which spoils it somewhat for me. I'm not sure if that makes a picture. Yeah, we'll have a look. 
when the light's like this there's no real rush we're not chasing the light the light's not changing because of the cloud cover so yeah, we've got plenty of time on our hands on a day like today because this light is is going to remain like this for the rest of the day now that picture i like that you've got this gnarly gnarly um trunk here in the left hand side but the the branch is actually leaning towards the center of the frame which is bringing your eye to that center tree and this other tree on the right is is kind of framing that so i'm gonna i'm gonna do a composition here i think because that's that's reasonably quite an interesting shot so i'll be back in a moment so i'm down to the last uh, 10 percent of the battery now so this is where the blog is likely to end, although I may be able to get a little bit of charge when I get back to the car just to close the video off. Um, I'm just wandering around the forest now and uh, taking some, some pictures of new trees because we've got this gray sky. So it's, you can always find something in the forest. Just spotted that tree down there, that gnarly looking one. And uh, just cropping in on that to see if I can get, get a composition. And, uh, Hopefully it comes out. We'll be bracketing to it to either side, and then we'll have a look in Lightroom see if it comes out. But I just like the look of that. It's just gnarly and interesting, and it's not not conforming to straight trees, so it's different. So it caught my eye. So I'm going to photograph it. Uh, until later when I'm back at the car. This is me for now, and I'll speak to you soon. Ta-da. Right, that's going to end it for me today. It's been grey all day. Quite chilly, quite cold. But I've taken some pictures, so we'll go back and have a look at those uh, on the computer and see how they turn out. I think they're all going to be black and white, to be honest, with the exception of a couple where I got the uh, quite depth of colour in the sandstone shots. So I'm going to try and pull the colours out on those and see how they come out. But uh, today's been really successful, really, because I've taken some shots I really wanted to. I found some more little places that I can revisit at different times throughout the year um, close to home and uh, this one in particular has got some excellent vantage points to set up a tripod and take some panoramas and uh, sunsets, sunrises, that kind of stuff um, although it does suffer from an awful lot of visitors uh, so blogging from here is quite difficult or well, at least it has been this morning with the amount of people that have been here so and of course running out of battery as we always do so i must invest in a new blogging camera um and i will do um but right now it's um, the focus is more on camera gear so keep taking the pictures and uh we'll we'll, we'll keep seeing what we come up with uh as you see pretty gray out there and uh of course you've got helsby hill there as well which i visit from time to time and uh it actually has a face on it by the way uh helsby hill is uh does have a face that you see from the motorway that's us back to the car now just got to the gates and uh, that's us finished here so time to put stuff away oh glad to get this bag off surprising how much that weighs when you've got it on for a while there you have it that's another outing in the bag uh what time are we oh three minutes to 12 so that's not bad uh i was up at uh half six out for about half seven with sunrise 20 past eight this morning um although we didn't get that obviously as we we don't do at the moment or don't seem to <laughs>